So now they're guilty of all those. That's what we're talking about. Shamel. Shamel. Young man. Probably started associating with people from YFN. But on the day that he was get, about to get killed, he's about to go back to his girlfriend's house and go eat some spaghetti. That's what he's doing at the light. Get ready to go back. You see him go inside the gas station. He's not worried about a thing. He doesn't know that seconds later he's going to lose his life. So the timeline here, this is, and I'll tell you here, this is a direct result of retaliation from the stabbing of Lucci. So what do we have? February 9th, Rayshawn Bennett gets stabbed in the Fulton County Jail by um, Jada Myrick. February 22nd, Eppinger calls Antonio Sumlin to see if he can get paid for finishing what Myrick didn't do. Then you heard about that emergency bond paperwork that was filled out on March 3rd. Then sometime around early March, the media hears about the wife and Lucy stabbing. It gets picked up on media. On March 11th at 3 a.m., two YSL associates, Christian McMillan and Darius Ford, are murdered on I-75 and I-85. That same night, there's a shooting at 12 Atlanta where a YFN associate gets shot in the head. On March 12th, there's a shootout on Cleveland Avenue with Lamiki on Garlington and the Ops. On March 12th, there's a 911 call shooting at 2830 Waters Road. March 14th, Shane Stillwell rents the Audi A5 and puts dark tints on all the windows. March 14th, 10 o'clock, is the murder of Chanel Drinks. Um, on March 16th, there's a shooting at Waters Road um, where Investigator Vera Rita comes out. March 17th, there's a search of Waters Road where everything is taken out except for a few guns that they left behind. And then Stillwell and Nichols are arrested. Again, we talk about the state does not have to prove motive. But here, ladies and gentlemen, this is motive. Again, that's that same video with Quindarius, y'all. Christian McMillan's been around since 2009. This is Mr. Williams' long friend, old friend, good friend. And he gets murdered. My wife and associates. Oh, you got to pay for that. Here we have just different pictures of them, both Mr. Ford and Mr. McMiller, all with other YSL associates. You have the, you'll have these in evidence, ladies and gentlemen. That's unfortunately the car that they were driving in when they were tragically gunned down on March 11th. So here's where the motive comes in, y'all. Just like YSL brags about doing stuff, YFN does the same thing. It's tragic. These posts were despicable. That post crossing out that young girl's daddy and saying that, despicable. But that's the type of stuff that gangs do, right? To keep nudging each other. Well, that would make you mad. You see how heartbroken YSL was for the death of Mr. McMiller and Mr. Ford. They were devastated. These are all different YSL members posting them because they were devastated. And that's where revenge kicks in. That is Mr. Stillwell's post. I ain't going to be the only one crying. Nope, you're right. The drinks family crying. Because he had to make sure. And what does he say here? Just rest, Mac. I got you, man. Crying emoji, broken heart, taped up heart, devil emoji. He was ready to go out hunting. I know that was in January, but that just goes to show you he, was, he already knew how to be on the prowl. He already knew how to go out hunting. And this is what the Mickey, I say on the wiretap on about March 11th to March 12th. March 12th. I ain't talking about the AB. Oh, AB. Yeah, you know what he on, though. Yeah. You know what he on. You know what he on. He on looking for them folks who killed our boys. That's what he on. Yo. What do you got, bro? Sit it up. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, I don't need that. Uh, people wrong? People wrong? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Y
Same shit. We all in the prowl. We looking. We went because we need to go find them folks who killed our boys. So we out hunting. Let's go rent this car. Now, you know, this notion that they rented the car because Taisha got into the gunfight. Well, she got into the gunfight on, on March 9th. So she got into the gunfight on March 9th. Why y'all just renting the car on March 9th? They rent the car on March 14th. Oh, here we go. And what do I do? Immediately go to the tent place to go get the rental car tinted. Well, why do you do that when you're op hunting? Because the ops don't know what kind of car you in. So you can disguise yourself in this Audi because they don't know you in it. So they're not suspecting you. That's not the car that they're used to. So when you go out hunting, you got to switch the car out right, because they're not expecting to find you in the car. And then you get tents, but not just regular tents, y'all, like dark black tents. Like you can't see nothing. Some may say those are not the tents you're ever allowed to have on your car. Why? Because you out hunting. What do we know about Shell Kell and Demi Gon Grant on social media? What did Investigator Viverito tell you? That because she was following both pages, she could see who followed who, and Demikian followed Kelvin Watts. So what posts do we see? This post was posted, I believe, on March 13th. And it's a picture of Mr. Drinks, Jasper Walters, and Kelvin Watts. And Shell Kell reposted it with the two shells the zipper lip and the black heart. And I guess for Mr. Stillwell and Mr. Garner, that must be a confession. Because this is the post that got Mr. Drinks killed. Because remember, no one knew who Mr. Drinks was. The investigators didn't know. When you listen to some of the wiretaps y'all listened to, they didn't know. So this post is a post that gets him killed. Not any verification, not that you should have been killing anybody anyway, but no verification whether or not they actually did or anything. But because Shell Cal posted two shells, a zip lip, and a black heart, that was Mr. Dre's death sentence. Op hunted. The reason why we took this picture, y'all, is if you remember from the video, and we're going to look at the video in a moment, Shannon was parked about right here in the alley. And we know that because you see him when he comes in. If you watch the videos, you see when he comes in. Remember that Mr. Drinks pulled up to this pump. No, this pump. They had the best vantage point to see when Mr. Drinks came in, when he walked into the store, when he walked back out the store, and when he pulled off. They were scoping it out. Verifying. I submit they in the car. Is that him? Oh, yo, I think he do got the same sneakers on. I think that's him, y'all. Scoping it out. 